Hi there folks, hope you're doing very well today. I hope this short video will be useful to you in some way, and maybe you'll pick up some tips along the way. But what we're going to do is we're going to talk about duplicating tracks and the two ways that we can do this. We'll take sample one and we'll drag that directly into the arranger window. What we can see here is that sample one is loaded as well as the GUI. We know that the GUI is going to be visible to us because the keys here in the editor have been selected as orange. We click that as it acts like a button and it will turn to its default white. Click it once more and we can see the GUI. We can also tell from the drop down menu here that sample one is the instrument output. If we use the control or the command key, press that down and use the left mouse button and drag down, we can duplicate that track. This can be useful, for example, on the first track, you'd like to do a drum pattern with your kicks. On the second, you'd like to do a drum pattern with your snares. You can export the MIDI separately, and that could be useful if you're collaborating with somebody. However, another way of duplicating the tracks is using the Alt key, the same method where we hold down the Alt key and the left mouse button and drag down. This creates an entirely new version of the instrument. It duplicates the track in a complete sense so that all of the presets and sounds that you had on the previous track are now copied over. This enables you to make changes or use different instruments with the same instrument. I hope that helps. Have a good day and I'll see you soon.